Hi everyone, there's LAR Games, and today I'm playing some more Genshin Impact. And uh, there's this event here that I'm not really sure how long it's going to be, but it seems we're finally getting the beetle battling, um, and Ito's coming back. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. So without further ado, let's get started. Go to quest. Navigate. And of course it's an Inazuma. I'm glad I didn't go to Inazuma. Actually, it might have actually it might have uh, activated a cutscene. Hey, there he is. Hey, buddy, what's up? Come on, boss. You can't just let this one slide. You've painstakingly built up a reputation as the bona fide beetle battle king. You can't let that brat get away scot free. Yeah. That little punk must have used some underhanded trick to catch you off guard. I just know it! I have a feeling he just beat him normally. Hey, hey, chill, boys, chill. Relax. I just underestimated my opponent. And can you blame me without boring the kid looked? <laughs> so, yeah, no worries. That fight didn't count. Anyway, enough about that. We're gonna stick to the plan, all right? The almighty Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle brawl is going ahead. Then we'll bring out Crimson Staff. You know, the one I've been training for years. Ah, oh, just imagine it. A whole audience cheering me on as Crimson Staff gets ready to crush its opponent. How long do beetles live? That kiddo will be trembling with fear. No tricks this time, no sir. Just an easy win for Ito. He'll be so scared he'll pee himself and start crying. <laughs> That'll show him. All right, boss. Way to go. But we don't know when Shinobu's coming back. Where do we even start with organizing the almighty Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle brawl? Just like last time, it seems that Shinobu is absent from this event. How disappointing. <laughs> Based on our experience with the almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival, we'll need to register the event with the Tenryo Commission and obtain a permit. And I think we also need proof of a venue rental. Also, I like how they kind of stole the, uh, the naming scheme uh, <laughs> for the plushie that was being sold during the Eridori Festival of the Shogun. We're going to need to pay for all that stuff somehow. If we want the Extreme Brawl to be even more extravagant than the Drumalong Festival, we'll need to spend at least three times the Mora. Stop! 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 We don't say Tenryo Commission out loud, okay? It gives me migraines. <laughs> Sneaky Paimon in the background. So we need some funds, huh? Easy. Just need to tweak our three-day weekend policy, as well as our one-day week policy. Let's work flat out and do two days on, four days off. That way, we'll work an extra four days between us, which means we'll earn four times as much. <laughs> we'll be raking in the mora. Amazing, boss! Then all we need to figure out is how to make up the numbers for our team. And it doesn't matter who we pick, because you're practically a one-man army. Shoot, that's right. That brat said he'll be bringing five of his top guys to fight us fair and square. But boss, you're the only one in our gang who's any good at beetle fighting. If they come at you in waves, you're gonna have a hard time no matter how good you are. Ah, come on you two, it's a little early to be getting cold feet. You're thinking too many steps ahead. Where's your Arataki gang attitude? Come on, I'll find a way to deal with this. Easy peasy, lavender melon squeezy. <laughs> Never heard that one before. Maybe I can hit up my usual beetle fighting crowd. Or maybe I can visit Naganohara Fireworks and see if I can rope that gal into it. She might be up for it. Oh, uh, scratch that. I if I did that, then news of me losing to that brat would spread around Hanamizaka. Ugh, my reputation would never recover. True, she does like to talk. That's her thing. True. So, bull checker, what are you up to this time? Ah! Oh, you scared me. <laughs> when did you get here? Paimon can scare him. <laughs> Seriously? We've been standing here for ages. We were headed to the Adventurers Guild, but then we saw you causing a commotion and talking about your next harebrained event idea. Hey, 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 don't forget the extreme part. Can't do without the coolest bit of the name, you know? Extremely harebrained, then. Compadre, you'll understand my passion for beetle fighting eventually. You just need more practice. So you're looking for a way to recover your pride after a humiliating defeat, are you? 
What? No, come on, it's not like that. I was ambushed. Ambushed, I'm telling ya. That's right. Some poser calling himself Grandmaster Hanakado challenged the boss in a brief moment of exhaustion after an intense beetle battling session. He used a ridiculously huge Oni Kabuto and flipped boss's beetle over in a matter of seconds. And then he said something like, Welcome to the world of real beetle fighters. You know, I'm kind of scared to see that uh, Oni Kabuto because they're already huge. They're like half. They're like the size of a small dog. Mamaru, Mamaru. Easy on the details, my dude. Anyway, compadre, I've heard that you're talented at pretty much everything. You pick up new skills almost instantly, and before you know it, you're a pro. Yeah, that's the power of being a protagonist. Paimon knows what you're going to say next, Bullchucker. They're going to ask us to avenge you and defeat that Grandmaster Hanakado for free, aren't you? For free? Flying Lavender Melon. Do you really think that I, Arataki Ito, have no code of honor? Listen, compadre, if you do this for me, I'll buy you both lunch for the next two months. One bowl of signature ramen every day for two whole months. How's that sound? Well, I have, like, unlimited food with me at all times, pretty much. One bowl every day? Oh, now that's an offer worth considering. Of course it's worth it for Paimon, though. <laughs> that's the result of Boss's hard-won victory. Some little phony was going around calling himself the bona fide Beetle Battle King, and Boss couldn't put up with that. So, Boss challenged him and said whoever wins gets the title. It does have some good alliteration. After 92 brutal rounds of Beetle battling that lasted one full day and night, the Boss finally emerged victorious. <laughs> yeah, I hate this still. But the kid offered Boss a one free bowl of ramen daily coupon from his family's ramen stall in exchange for giving the title back in two months. We don't know how good his family's ramen is, but the sheer quantity being offered made it too good to refuse. Besides, Boss's beetle fighting techniques are improving so fast that he'll easily have won a more impressive title by two months from now. It's a great deal! The only slight snag is... We forgot to ask him where the ramen stall is. There's not much space in this island. Or this town. <laughs> don't, don't sweat the details. Anyway, compadre, flying lavender melon, that's my offer. All that ramen, just for you. Wait! We haven't agreed yet! I've already challenged this Grandmaster kid, and he accepted. He's gonna bring some reinforcements with him to face off against us. As for the venue, I think I have an idea. But first, compadre, I'm gonna need you to do me a solid and sort out all the pesky paperwork at the Tenryo Commission. What? Me? Paperwork? What do you take me for? I'm an adventurer. I'm an accountant. Sound good? Good. All right then, my compadre and melon duo. Let's hop to it. <laughs> First person Ito perspective. Sheesh. Ito sure seems excited about all this. Oh, guess there's no backing out now, huh? Uh, we might as well go along with this. We just have to learn how to beat a fight and help him beat his opponents, right? Hmm, sounds simple enough. Nikabutos, sure. Ugh, listen to you. Is Bullchecker's childishness really that infectious? Because one Ito is more than enough. I agree. You can't have too much of a good thing. I guess we actually did the paperwork. <laughs> good thing we know how to write the language. <sighs> Not bad. <sighs> Mamaru and Akira have delivered the goods. Let's start setting this baby up. Ow! Wow. <laughs> now this is what I call an arena. Looking pretty good. Booyah, compadre. I didn't know you were so handy with this kind of thing. I didn't know either, actually. And this awesome poster I made is the cherry on top. It captures the mood perfectly. <laughs> great carpentry, Traveler. And great artwork, boss. I guess this is just an extension of what we do in the teapot. <laughs> this place seems pretty far from Inazuma City. You sure anyone's going to show up to watch? You sure a kid's going to come all the way over here? Oh, you bet they will. 
When you're as famous as I am, people will flock to watch you. I heard this is the spot where they held the sword fighting contest during the Iridori Festival. That makes this the ideal venue for Oni Kabuto duels. Next up, time to show you my invincible Oni Kabuto, Crimson Staff. Oh, where'd that come from? Oh, it really is a red Oni Kabuto. Amazing. Yeah, it kind of does look like it has pyro. Especially, like, it almost looks like it has the insignia on the back. Huh. I mean, didn't expect you to put in this much effort. Where did you find this Oni Kabuto anyway? Can Paimon take a closer look? <laughs> Go ahead, feast your eyes. But I'm afraid I can't tell you what makes Crimson Staff such a special specimen. That's my little secret. Huh? That smells so familiar. Oh, he what painted it? Wait, Valberry Jam? Huh? What? Oh, uh, you're imagining things. <laughs> you must be, like, super hungry or something. <laughs> Probably, but that's also why she can detect it. Speaking of which, boss... You haven't applied a protective coating on top of the war paint yet, right? If it rains, then the 9,000 mora we spent on the imported jam is gonna go to waste. Well, there you go. Don't worry. The almighty Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle brawl hasn't started yet. There's still time to give Crimson Staff one last layer of protective coating. Can that count as cheating? Alright, you guys go grab some flyers and start bringing in the crowds. In the meantime, I'll be helping my compadre and flying lavender melon here get up to speed. Is that the kid? After that, we'll celebrate over a meal. Oh, so much going on. I've really got my work cut out for me today. <sighs> this your venue? Not bad. Bigger than I expected. It's Grandmaster Hanakado! He's here! Wait, what? You're not supposed to know about this place yet. Aren't you forgetting something, Bonafide Beetle Battle King? We elite beetle fighters can sense each other's presence. Or how else would we have crossed paths last time? Weird lore, but okay. Looks to me like you're still busy frantically preparing. Is that because you don't have a clue how to beat us? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, in case you didn't know, me and my Oni Kabuto gotta get our brainwaves in sync before a battle. And until we're ready to roll, I always conserve my energy and keep a low profile. I just underestimated the strength of your beetle battler's sixth sense is all. Huh? So that's the kid Ito lost to? Yeah, he does look pretty normal. He looks like a small Scaramouche. But the way he talks is pretty unique. It almost feels like... He was born to be Bull Tucker's arch nemesis. <clears throat> Grandmaster Anacado, you did well to track me down. I'm impressed. Looks like this bona fide Beetle Battle King needs to watch out for pretenders to the throne. But you're about to regret showing up here uninvited because you have just earned yourselves a pre Beetle Brawl trouncing. Good. You seem more confident this time. And it sounds like you actually have a game plan. You know, I would have really liked if uh, Shinobu was here. I want to see how she interacts with the rest of the team. But if I crushed you right away, I'd miss out on all the fun. So I'll let my subordinates play with you first. Where are you coming from? <laughs> Using your minions to size up the competition now? Then we'll just send out Flying Lavender. Does she count as an Oni Kabuto? Uh, <clears throat> nope. Nope. If Flying Lavender Melon's representing the Arataki gang, we gotta rise to the occasion. We'll need a better title. Hmm. Uh, ha! Got it. We'll send Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon out to teach you a lesson! Hard under blade? Huh? Why Paimon? <laughs> but still one sentence. I still hate you for that. Mihoyo, I'll never forgive you until you stop doing it. Boss! Are we seriously going to fight them right now? We haven't had time to spread the news about the match yet. Also, your compadre and your compadre's melon haven't <laughs> even tried beetle fighting before. <laughs> She's my melon. <laughs> you make a good point. But the fact is, the kid's here now, and I ain't about to back down. We'll have to put the publicity side of things on hold for now. As for beetle fighting techniques, 
I'll be mentoring flying lavender melon. Nope, nope. Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon from the side. Battling's the best way to learn. Doesn't matter if you lose. Hey! Why are you assuming that Paimon will lose before it's even started? Go, white iron lavender melon! Show him the might of the Arataki gang! Sending you out first is part of my elaborate strategy, you know. I got my inspiration from a Liyue tale that Shinobu told me. Face their strongest with your weakest, their weakest with your average, and their average with your strongest. Then you're guaranteed to win two out of three rounds. Um. You may be talented, but you lack practical battle experience. With all the elite beetle battlers here, I'm afraid to say you're a small fry. By sending a dopey little melon up first, we can get one of their best fighters to waste all their strength on the low-flying fruit. <laughs> We'll make short work of them this time. Um, but according to your logic, if you're planning to face their leader, Grandmaster Hanakado, doesn't that make you our weakest fighter? <laughs> huh? That can't be right. Ah, you little twerp. I never said my strategy was exactly the same as the one in the story. Fine, fine, fine. Pine on will do it already. But prepare to eat your words, mister. Low flying fruit. Hmm. Pine will show you. Let's see how she does. Alright. Tap the button forward to instruct the Oni Kabuto to expand a small amount of stamina to move half a tile forward. Huh, so it's like turn based? It's not turn-based, so it's it's stamina-based, but like you can't take anything back essentially. Hmm. Where did these kids come from? Ugh, what a puny opponent. And what a garish Onikabuto. Pathetic. You can paint your Onikabuto any color you want. The only thing that counts in battle is their electro affinity, the source of their power. Being able to pick out a prize Onikabuto from the crowd is all that matters. That's what makes or breaks every beetle fighter. That's a strange theory. Even Paimon knows that performance in battle matters the most. Hmm. Honing your beetle fighting skills is the most important thing. That's exactly right, Minnie Melon. Nice sounding theory, but it ain't gonna help you if you don't know how to fight. Listen up, White Iron Lavender Melon. You need to watch your opponent's Oni Kabuto closely <laughs> so you can dodge its attacks. Then in the opening right afterwards, you strike back! As long as the opponent's in range, Crimson Staff will hit him hard. Got it! So when the opponent attacks, we get our Oni Kabuto to retreat. And when there's an opening, we move it forward and strike while they're still recovering. Sounds simple enough. Paimon will give it a go. The Traveler heard the explanation too, so Paimon bets we're both ready for battle. Let's Are see what you happens. seriously learning beetle fighting right before a match? You underestimate who you're up against. Enough talk. Put your Onikabuto on the table and show me what you've got. Alright, let's see how this works. Oh, right trigger and left trigger. Interesting. Uh huh. Interesting. It's kind of like a fighting game, sort of. Amazing, Mini Melon! Whoa, whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Pretty talented, ain't ya? You sure showed them who's boss. You, my little friend, have earned yourself an egg roll later today. I'll go with complimenting her. Ah, uh, Grandmaster Hanakado. 
I lost to a complete novice. I let you down. Don't worry. It seems that there are a force to be reckoned with. We should inform the other generals to prepare for battle. <laughs> General. <laughs> you defy my expectations once again, bona fide beetle battle king. I didn't expect you to find such formidable warriors so quickly. From today onward, I will send one of my generals here daily to face you. Be sure that you survive until the final battle. Otherwise, your declaration of war will become the laughing stock of the entire beetle fighting world. How world how big does that world span, you think? Aw, oh, wait just a minute. Leaving so soon? What are you, scared? <sighs> He's so annoying. Turning up here uninvited. How is he leaving though? How is he coming and leaving? Before we're done with him. Taking off somehow. From what Grandmaster Hanagato said? Seems like he's gonna send some of his minions to challenge us. Guess we'll have another battle before too long, huh? Uh, that's right. Looks like we won't have time to make the almighty Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle brawl the grandest event ever organized by the Arataki gang. That's not saying much. Eh, works for me. An audience would have been sweet, but at the end of the day, we came here to battle. And battling is what we're gonna do. Look at you flying, uh, sky-cleaving white iron lavender melon. <laughs> Defeating your first powerful enemy, starting to make a name for yourself as a fighter, huh? Really gets me into the fighting spirit. Gets me thinking about myself back in the day when I first entered the Hanamizaka beetle battling scene. Yeah, taking on the pros for the first time. <laughs> oh, so did you also take down an expert when you first started Bull Checker? I don't think so. The boss got brutally beaten. I think boss is saying he was inspired by White Iron Lavender Melon's performance because he himself was defeated back in the day. Come on, that's all in the past now. Spilled milk, water under the bridge. It's up to the three of us now. Me, the bonafide Beetle Battle King, Paimon, the sky-cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon, and Traveler, the, uh, the Oni King's right hand. The three of us have to unite to take down Grandmaster Hanakato and all his minions. How did I get roped into this? Before we face each opponent, we need to talk strategy. As long as we win more matches than we lose, Grandmaster Hanakato will have to face me personally. Ball Checker seems to be taking this all pretty seriously. Still, that beetle fight was pretty fun. And we do get two months worth of free ramen if we help him win this. Let's go along with it and do our best. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! Just follow my lead and give your all in battle. Grandmaster Hanakato's about to get more than he bargained for! This is- oh, hello. This is how we're doing it, huh? So who's first? A little girl. Then... Grown men. <laughs> That's the right progression. Arataki Yang, I'm here to duel! Oh, it, what now? Has Grandmaster Hanakato sent another kid to challenge me? I assume they were all gonna be kids. Is you running out of people? Because this is some serious bottom of the barrel material. It's not you I'm after. Empty vessels make the most noise. This blonde guy, on the other hand, looks like a strong and able warrior. I take it that he's the real leader of the Arataki gang. I mean, I am stronger than Ito, but I really don't look it. <laughs> <laughs> now that's what Vaimon calls a good judge of character. Go on, praise him some more! Yeah, I wouldn't mind that either. Hey, hey, what are you two talking about? <sighs> My compadre here is strong for sure, but uh, he's just outside help. Make no mistake, there's only ever been one leader of the Arataki gang, and that is yours truly, Arataki Ito. <laughs> hey, nice idea! The Arataki gang may not be the strongest gang in the world, but being a leader would still be pretty cool. If it's cool with you, Paimon could be called Arataki for three days only, Paimon. Or Paimon, temporary leader of the Arataki gang. Hey, thought this was about me. Hey, 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 don't let your opponent lead you astray. She's clearly just... just trying to sow discord. Yeah, okay. 
All part of a nefarious plot to turn us against each other. Just wait till I defeat her boss. She'll be begging to take back her words. Don't flatter yourself. I don't care about the Arataki gang's internal affairs. I just want to battle strong opponents. She's not really talking like a kid right now. <laughs> Let's see just how good Blondie here is at beetle fighting. All right, let's see. All right. This seems like the same way they were doing the difficulties in uh, the... You got this. This will be a walk in the park for you. Yeah. Oh, shoot, I forgot it was Trigger. and I shared with you previously. Time your moves right and catch her off guard. Dream on. You'll never dodge my moves because I never miss. This is actually pretty fun. No words of defeat. What? Don't even get actual voice dialogue. All right, his turn. Also, th it's very dangerous for kids to be out here. Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. I have come to avenge Electra. Prepare your Oni Kabuto. Are you her dad? After I defeat you, I'll take down the entire Arataki gang one member at a time. Looks like we've got an adult this time. Why is this guy more excitable than the kids? I'm very confused. Well, White Iron Lavender Melon, looks like this guy's challenging you to a duel. And there's no backing down from something like that. Take Crimson Staff with you and go nuts! Alright, let's do it. Well, that's bigger. Yeah, it's huge. Don't you worry, an Oni Kabuto that's too big oh, shoot. is one that's too slow. It's no match for Crimson Staff. Your worthless little Oni Kabuto doesn't stand a chance. I can even finish talking, and I beat him. <laughs> that's fun. Okay, they're all adults now. Undisciplined, inelegant, unoriginal, uninspired, and completely uncoordinated. Hey, what you complaining about? Oh, let me guess. All your teammates we defeated? Ugh. I'm talking about your fighting style. Uh-huh. Have you been hit in the head by a specter or something? This ain't some circus show, pal. You want to know what my style is? Uncheckable strength, unwreckable will, and undefeatable beetles. That's what. I can give you a demonstration, if you dare. Ugh, you <laughs> bring back some bad memories. I do not deal well with loud and obnoxious types like you. Ah, but this blonde fellow looks like easy pickings. <laughs> All right, I'll challenge him. So unlike the little girl, you have terrible judge of character. So man, really, it's dangerous out here, everyone. Why are we here right now? <laughs> Did you hear what this joker just said? He thinks you're an easy win. So, uh, how about you show him a little Arataki gang hospitality? Oh, no. Paimon doesn't get it. These people haven't researched their opponents at all. All they're doing by coming one at a time is contributing to our winning streak. Bandmaster Hanakato's team members are a real mixed bag. They're no match for us three when it comes to strategy. All right, let's do this. So far, it's been pretty easy, but fun. Beetle battling is a spectator sport. The performance should be visually captivating, even artistic. You, however, don't seem to comprehend that. Oh, oh no, no, no. that was close. Why 
quiet iron lavender melon. Now, time to teach him a lesson, compadre. Yeah. Is this the last one? Marching it. Hey, which one of you is the ringleader? Step up. It's time to fight. Well, you're pointing at Paimon. I am Grand Rook Sinichi, a giant among giants. Grandmaster Hanakado has demanded the head of the Artaki Gang's leader, and I'm here to collect it. What? The kid wants actual heads? That's concerning. Where do you get off, huh? And what's the big idea of putting grand in your name? You trying to steal my limelight, you little punk? Okay, giant among giants. Time to cut you down to size. Seems like his, um, his confidence was kind of fake. So tall. And you're, you're an Oni. You look like you could eat me for breakfast. Why is a guy like you into potato <laughs> fighting? It's just a kid's game. Uh, what have I gotten myself into? Nobody did any research. Uh, excuse me? Kids game? Oh, you did not just say that. I mean, Ito's kind of right. There's like only one kid here right now. Seems to me like you don't know the first thing about beetle fighting. Your misconception begs correcting by a veteran, my dude. School of Mark. I mean, yeah, Ito. Go take him down a notch. You can do it, bull chucker. Looks like this is happening. Fine. Bring it on. Don't look down on beetle fighting, rookie. Uh, whatever your name was. Give him I don't know what to do with that. And it's not just about fun either. Beetle fighting. Oh shoot, what the heck? Stronger. And the spirit of competition. If you don't understand that, maybe you should find a new hobby. <laughs> Be now trash talked. This never happens. Too bad for you though. Because oh, no. talk is cheap. That one was actually kind of involved. Yeah, the storm is over. Now what? Hello? Oh, 10 hours? What? No! To survive hardship, you must prepare for hardship. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna have to wait to, uh, do that until next time. Um, yeah, this is actually a pretty fun one. I like this one. No forming teams or anything, just straight up fun. Quite like. Oh, it started raining again. Hmm. All right, you guys have fun in the rain. I'm going to leave. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little mini event. Uh, it's fully voiced for some reason. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.